Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. Today I'll show you how to, um, how to rig your character um, for your good type name in Blender. So first thing you'll see is this cube. Just click Shift A, I'm pretty sure I was true. Uh, no, just delete the, this and that. Now on this cube right here, let's go to this modifier tab and add a subdivision surface. You can change the viewport. I keep it on one, but you can change it to things like two or three or four or five or six. Zero is just a normal cube. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go to the scale tool. Gonna pull it up. And then you're gonna go ahead, go to the front view by clicking X, Shift D. Pull this slightly up and resize it to your head size. Move that up a bit too. Um, the front will always be X, by the way. Let's create the arms. Shift D. And now hold down S and just slightly pull it inward then pull this outwards shift D remember go to the front view shift D here boom do that Now we got a arm, add a UV sphere, go over to here, hold down S, scale it down to the size of your hand, pull this up like this. I think that's good. Now, to avoid any glitches, I'm going ahead and going to manually remake the other side instead of just copy and pasting because every time I do that, you can just hold shift and select all of these, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and manually do this. Shift D, this, Shift D, this. Then we got our model, and I think it's looking pretty good. Now go to shading. Go to this thing right here and create new material. And now we got this new material. Let's name this our fur. Basically, now it's now we can go ahead. Okay, so now you can go ahead and go to Discord. So yeah, now you So you have Discord and what you're gonna wanna do is go to the girl tag modding Discord 
and materials and you can basically try to find a material to use and wear um, do not do the GMAT select the pictures only the pictures So I like this for material, so I'm gonna go ahead and right click on it. Well, actually not, I'm gonna go here, open the browser, right click, save image, save it to where I want it to be, real quick. So, yep, here, here. Now I like that. Now let's go ahead and try to find a monkey face. So images. Find the face you want to use. I'm going to use this. You're going to right click, save image. And put that into your photos. Okay. So back in Blender, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go ahead, go back to layout file export FPX and I'm gonna go ahead and create a new folder called tutorials this will be separated separated separate mod monkey so separate and monkey so now that you got that, we're gonna go to File, New, General. You don't need to save it. Now delete everything again. File, Import, FPX, and Import the file we just saved. Boom, now you're gonna wanna click Control J. So you're gonna select all of these Control J to make them one big object. Now, in shading material, we got fur, face. Now, let's go ahead and create the fur material. So, we're going ahead and going to Um, add, import, add image texture, search up that, align this however you want, just put that anywhere, drag color to here, now we're going to delete this face texture actually, um, open, and you're gonna go ahead and open that file we both of the so choose the fair file we got that you can also change it a bit darker if we'd like to i'm not going to do that but So yeah, we got this. Now, for better looks, I'm gonna go ahead and, you can go ahead and find belly fur, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Uh, so what you're gonna wanna do is 
again. Add, click new, and they rename this to um, face. Add Im image texture. Put this wherever you want. Open and again open the thing but the face okay so now we're gonna go to UV editing deselect all of it now hold shift and select all of its where you want the face to be and Change the image to face. You're gonna go ahead and wanna select all of these. Here, move this to the middle. And go ahead and scale it up to the face. And now go to material, click assign. Now, if it doesn't show, all you have to do is all you have to do is just pull this out and turn this here. Now we got our monkey model. It might be rotated, so just take the rotate tool and rotate it to the face okay I think that's good I might actually go ahead and darken the fur real quick now if you go to layout go to the mode we got our model. Now if you go to, now let's go back to shading to add the belly fur. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the fur to something different. Which is this. And then I'm gonna create a new one, name it. Leafer, add, search, image, texture, take this here, put this to there, open, pictures, tutorial, put in the belly fur, boom, go back to UV editing, now select all the parts that you want, well be the stomach now change the image to fur move now select all of these move it down size it up I'm gonna keep it to like this. And now we're gonna get assigned. Oh, I did something wrong. Okay, here we go. Select them again. So we have this, click assign, boom. Now if we go to layout, we have our model with its face and its stomach. And basically, yeah, that's how you create the monkey model. Now we have to rig it. So to do this, go to the front, we're gonna go to, I'm pretty sure it's here. Yeah, to the square viewpoint in front. Add a 
armature. And you might have to do the viewpoint again, like that, boom. Now move this down to like, here, to where the top of it is at the arm. Now you're gonna click on edit mode, and you're gonna click E, and you're gonna pull it up here, click to stop it, move it up again. Now we have that, pull it out to here, again, again, and again. Now out to here, again, 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 again. Now basically, that's almost fully rigged. Now go to the Z layer and pull this out to the face the way monkey is facing. So like this, now select it, Alt P, clear parent. Now pull it out just a bit. I'm gonna do it right here and the same applies for this side. <laughs> So now we got those. Now we're going ahead and going to like do F2. Um, IK pull and IK pull. Now you can skip this step, but just name all of these to their stuff, so body. This will make it easier to do it. Head, shoulder, uh, this is going to be upper arm, this is going to be lower arm, this is going to be hand. Now same for this side, shoulder, F2. Upper arm to lower arm. And, and name these hand too. So now all of them are named. You can also go to, I'm pretty sure, yeah, armature names, auto name left and right. Yeah, so now you can actually see that this is hand right. This is I cable. Yeah, it. Oh, hold on. You gotta select the all the armature pieces. And then armature names on the left and right. Now I got hand right, hand left. I can pull left, I can pull one left. Upper arm, yeah, it's not that good, but it's good enough. So now we got the rig. Now what you're gonna wanna do is go to object mode, select this, and then hold shift and select these. I'm pretty sure it's shift P, no, control P with automatic weights. Now we have this file export FBX and put it into there, name it full, full monkey or whatever it is. Okay. Okay, so now in our GoTech fan game, uh, what you're gonna wanna do is go to the player. And I've already done this, but I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. Oh geez, undo. Thank goodness, dude.
So now we have this hand. So now we have basically nothing here. Click on head to see where the head is, just for confirmation. But basically go to assets, gear documents, tutorials, put in the full monkey. Now this is our full monkey. You may need to create the materials. So create material name fur. Basically you need to add the materials you put in for it to be well. Well, we're in prefab mode, it doesn't, can't do that. So yeah, just add this here. Boom, now we got fur. Now add this here. Now we got the belly. Add this here, and now I got the face. Now let's go ahead and take the monkey. Right click on it prefab unpack. Now let's go ahead and shrink this down to player size and rotate this to where it's facing the player name. I forgot to mention that this is done with Photon, not Norm Core. So if you want to do this, add it to Norm Core or watch a different tutorial on how to add it. So the head's right here. I'm gonna go ahead and make us much larger. So you're going ahead and going to, oh wait. Okay, what you're gonna wanna do is gonna go to armature, body, shoulder, upper arm, lower arm, and hand, which would be right here. Now we're gonna go to scripts and go ahead, link in, um, in my Discord, download the Fast IK Fabric script, and go to hand L, or wherever this is, whatever it's called, and put the Fast IK Fabric here. Now you can go ahead and turn the target. So look the way the monkey is facing and this should be the left hand. Uh, target, left hand. Pull is the pull that's on that side. i do the same for the other shoulder. Fast IK fabric, right hand, pull, just to confirm, boom. And basically another thing you should do is put this into head. Now you have your fully rigged monkey. Now let's go ahead and test this out. Now you can see that we got the model fully rigged and it is working. Now one thing you might notice that our hands are backwards when you do this. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. And also if you're short in real life like me but have long arms in this game, you have to make it bigger because more people are usually taller and older when playing the, the games like this. So, they're going to be like floating. But yeah, let's go ahead and do that.
Okay, here we are in the game. We're gonna go to resources, full time VR, and our player. And we're gonna take our hands in the armature. So you go to the armature where we put the script in. I'm gonna rotate this 90 degrees. 90 prove that let's go ahead and see yep now our hands are working and stuff and it's pretty cool you can run around Guys, by the way, if you want one, I'll show you how to make a um, skybox that is also spinning. Uh, so yeah, get this video to 5 likes and I'll do a tutorial on how to add a spinning skybox.